Well, how do there, chums, tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, for you guys out there in the viewerverse, I'm doing a little bit of Murray Watch because there has been some activity from the Murray, the Sean of the Murrays, over on the Twitter space. Just going to have a sip of my lovely tea. Nice. It's my own brew, people. Yes, I have my own brew of tea. You can find it on the links from my about area on my channel page. Anyway, let me jump on over onto the old Tinterwebs. Chikapow! And chikaboom! I'm on the Tinterwebs and I'm on Sean Murray's page over on X or Twitter or whatever. I know a lot of you don't have X or Twitter, so I figured I may as well put this out there and let you know what's going on. I have noticed something curious though. Before we get into Murray Watch, can I make this banner any bigger? Um, can I make? Yes, I can. Look at this. I've only just spotted this. I can't believe I haven't spotted this before now. Yeah, look at the Atlas. There's bits of the freaking Atlas dropping off, mate. Look, there's freaking bits of it all dropping off. And there's like downwards. I can't believe I hadn't noticed that before. Is the Atlas starting to fall apart? Interesting. Yes, now we are expecting a four part arc of, you know, Echoes. And we have seen a lot of it come to fruition, like these giant capital sort of pirate ships. Yeah, but we haven't seen the degradation of the Atlas. Well, we kind of did, where we slavered it with, like, um, you know, the the Atlantium, and it went purple for a second, and uh, voiced the voice of the void, the void Mother for a moment. I am wondering whether the Void Mother, when she gets actualised into game, if she gets actualised into game, other than what we've seen inside of Echoes, is just the atlas turning purple but we shall see anyway let's digress we're going down and let's have a look at the old murray watch because you know and love all these emojis that murray puts out and he uses emojis for pretty much everything including putting out an emoji that then has reference to what the next update is going to be and it's usually a singular emoji without anything else it's just an emoji on its own is what we're looking for now sean tweeted out a little skull emoji but he put it alongside this. So it's not the emoji we're after. It's not an update emoji, but is it a hint at something else? Because Sean Murray very rarely posts something for the sake of posting something. It's usually got some kind of relevance to something. He's a very cryptic genius, is the old Murray. And here you go, we've got this. It says, what, what game development does to a man? Okay, so you've got him clean shaven when they first started out with the conceptualization of you know, no man's sky then early development where they started to showcase it yeah lovely a bit of a beard going on then full-on beard when he was doing an interview then at the time of release freaking heck it looks like he's just emerged from a cave doesn't it mental it really does yeah freaking craziness that's nearly full-on santa isn't it wrong color but yeah getting there craziness so I'm wondering whether this tweet has got something to do with the size of his beard now. But we all know that No Man's Sky is already fully developed. But then you think, well, does that mean they've got something else in development? Ah, yes, we could be onto something here, people. It could be their new IP is getting close to being revealed. And what's going on in near proximity? We'll get to that in a moment. He done another one with a freaking target. Yeah, okay, so what's this linked to? I hear you cry. He literally invented the soy face and still pulled his reputation out of the gutter by continuing to update his game masterclass. Well, let's just click on that and have a look, see? And it is about No Man's Sky and its release, you know? Thank you. Yeah. Four years of emotions. But that was back in 2016. So. Why only retweet this now? Bit of an oddity. Bit of an oddity. Um, strange. Strange indeedy doody. Anyways, that got put out there. So we've got this little uh, target going on. We've got the little skull going on. This one is definitely about No Man's Sky. These images are the development of No Man's Sky. So is it about a new update that's going to be dropping? Are they going to drop as a surprise for Christmas? So there's two things here, people, that I think these might be subtle hints towards. It might be Sean Murray saying that they've just gone through the whole development cycle all over again for a new game, their new IP, their new ambitious title that he's teased like four years ago. 
Hence why he used the four years ago sort of image there, that it's been four years in development and they're now ready to show the disc again and do the whole soy face. Ha <laughs> ha, look what we got. Or it's about a really big update that might be coming to No Man's Sky. I kind of think that it's the announcement of a new IP, people. That's what I kind of think, but I'd love to hear your thoughts and feelings inside of the comments. Now, what's coming up soon is the Game Awards, and Hello Games has been put up for a nomination for Best Community Support. Now, it's funny that we're talking about community support right now, and then we're looking at Sean Murray's sort of front face. This is the only real communications we get from the old Murray, other than interviews that he does with gaming magazines like the IGNs and places like that. I don't believe he's ever done an interview with the community or anybody from the community, be that a Redditor or a content creator such as myself or anyone with inside of the content uh, creating sphere. I don't think Hello Games has ever sat down face to face with their community and said, ask us some questions. That hasn't happened. I mean, they do support the, the meetup that we have every every year in real life over in Guildford. Uh, we tend to do this in the UK. Uh, yeah, if you want to see one of the meetups, if you've not come across it before, I put a link up there and go and hit it up. I've been to a, quite a few of them now and helped host a couple of them, which has been freaking lovely. And we are hoping to do one in 2024. We're going to be arranging that in January and details will follow in January on the next meetup so keep your eye peepers out for that one if you wish to attend because it's freaking awesome we do raffles we do quizzes we do all sorts of stuff and hello games often puts things behind the bar um be that rewards for a raffle or even some money inside of the kitty for us to spend on drinky poos or a giant cake that they gave us last year that was printed with the echoes freaking cover art that i just showed you earlier Th this this was printed on the freaking cake mate it was freaking lovely it was actually a good cake hello games it was it was lovely thank you very much it was scrumdily umptious yeah and they gave us hoodies and all sorts i'm not wearing my hoodie right now but yeah freaking lovely people in our hello games so yeah they do do things for the community they do things all the time for the community and they listen to the community you'll often find that updates will contain something that hello games wants to put in there and something that the community have been talking about or asking for or they've seen the community sort of improvising and putting things in so there we go people anyway that's it i honestly don't know whether it's to do with their new ip or whether they're holding something back because another that's another thing all right let's just go over to the steam depots here we go boom let's bring this up let's scroll on down here internal update happened like 13 days ago an experimental 20 days ago now they've put over a whole ream of patch notes that loads of patches there's fixes there for nintendo switch and the vr systems that shouldn't really be held on to for too long they should be out there in the verse because they sorely are needed for anybody that's picking this game up on the lead up to christmas and for the festive period so they've got all these updates for patches and fixes just sitting there in experimental and internal and they haven't gone public they haven't gone public with it so i'm fairly sure we're going to get something fairly soon that at least has all of those fixes in and perhaps make maybe some reduxes or something for the festive period. I can't think of a year where we haven't had something to see us through the festive period and they usually become active again at Hello Games in February. Now my birthday is in February, mid-Feb, and pretty much every birthday without fail there's been an update, I like the Companions update, that's probably one of my favourite sort of birthday updates. Yeah, I call it my birthday update because I, I seem to get one every birthday, it's freaking lovely. Um, not that they care on my birthday is, and it's, it's probably got nothing to do with my birthday, but it's my birthday update. Yeah, it's lovely. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully we're going to get something over the festive break. I've been saying for a while now, they did say that expeditions were going to be seasonal, and they also said that they would rarely put out an expedition without an update. It would be an expedition with an update. Uh, there was only one exception to that rule, I think it was the emergence one. But anyways, normally you get an update alongside an expedition, and I'm wondering whether this year we're going to get an Expedition 12 bang on for Christmas for everybody to play, the, an expedition that no one has played, you know, for fun. And then the Redux is through January, takes them into early Feb, and then they look at their next update mid-Feb. You know, that makes sense to me, so they've just moved it over a little bit and thought, well, let's just give them some little bit of lull time 
let's let them stew a bit and then we're going to hit them with a big surprise is what i'm thinking but at the same time i don't want to overhype this and the only reason why i'm going back on to hype slightly is because of the emojis that sean's putting out there and kind of hinting that there's something in development again and he's not just done it with one tweet but with two tweets and we also know that the game awards is coming up so i kind of think that this might be a massive sort of hint that he's going to reveal something to the community inside of the game awards whether that be his new ip or an update to no man's sky the likes that probably is going to be slightly larger than what we've all anticipated uh, i can see one or two of those sort of scenarios playing out people i don't know whether you're in agreement on this sound off in the comments and let us know button there i was going to stick it behind me like that and i was going to jump on over like this and lovely jubbly. I've got it in the background then. Ha <laughs> ha Look at that. Isn't that magical? Isn't that wonderful? Anyway, I'm going to go back to drinking my tea. And um, I'm going to finish off now. But that Game Awards is only in a couple of days' time. And even if Shaun of the Murrays and Hello Games don't announce something at those Game Awards, there's a lot of stuff that I'm eagerly looking forward to inside of the Game Awards. And Jason Plays usually covers these things live. And I love watching Jason Plays' take on stuff. I would do it myself, but I'm just worried that I get flagged like I did with the when I... I did it with the Apple Mac. You know when the Apple were releasing their own version of VR and stuff? I put that out there because it was they were going to cover No Man's Sky for their Apple. And I got flagged. And it's still a big freaking warning on my screen saying, yeah, one more of these and we, we, we won't let you post content for a week or whatever. Yeah, so I'm just being very careful. I'm not going to um, press my luck on that one. Anyway, goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.